Hello everyone. Welcome to the Kindergarten Weekly Updates. KG1 students participated in fancy dress show this week. They came dressed as healthy and unhealthy food. We did see the creativity of parents and speaking skills of our students. They confidently went on stage and performed in front of the audience. At this age, it means a lot for a small child to speak publicly. It is also one form of expressive art. How they are able to express themselves through speech and language. We had another interesting activity this week, Picasso and me. Picasso, the famous artist you all would know. This focused on enhancing students' imagination as well as their creativity. They got canvas from home to paint on. Teachers supported them by giving a few resources which they can use to create wonderful magical scenes on the canvas and they enjoyed it thoroughly. Now let us Listen to our little ones and the teacher of pre-KG on the academic updates. This week in phonics, we revise the sound we learned last week and did alliterations and craft activity for the sound P. Storytelling helps your child get to know sounds, words and language and develop early literacy skills. Our pre-kindergartners enjoyed retelling the story The Lion and the Mouse and listening the same from their friends. They sequence the story using story flashcards. In numeracy, we introduced the number six through number rhyme and did hands-on activity. Students revised the concept of heavy and light and played different ICT games for the same. Teaching children to be kinder to animals today is the only hope for a kinder world tomorrow. In UOW, we enjoyed learning about wild animals, their young ones and their home. We enjoyed coloring the animals and their young ones. This weekend phonics, we learned the letter sound of J and L. We enjoyed the letter song and made the craft. We also learned the sight word B and so. In literacy, we practiced writing the letters U and E in our notebook. This week in numeracy, we continued to learn pictograph. Through pictograph, we got to know that more children like mangoes and less children like grapes in our class. We also solved the worksheet to check our understanding of the topic. We wrote missing numbers in our notebook. This week in UOW, we learned about food what we eat daily and sometimes we made our own plates with food items. We also did the craft works and sorted out the food items. This week in phonics, we learned the phonics sound short O. We understood the long and short O sounds and wrote the words in the book like book, hook, hood. We know the characters and setting of the story, the gingerbread man very well now. We could think creatively and came up with a new end for the story like the gingerbread man crossing the river in the boat. This week in numeracy, we learned attributes of 3D shapes, cuboid, cylinder and cone. We also have learned number name 8 and wrote it in the notebook. This week we learned about construction of houses and towers. First we designed our house and then we looked out new ways to construct them by using tissue boxes, cartons, popsicles, straws, wooden blocks and etc. A special assembly by KG2G students was impressive. They performed some lovely foot tapping action song as a warm up followed by a skit to show how the mango tree is humble and fig tree rude. They spoke so well and gave a wonderful message at the end of their assembly. Be humble, be kind. A KG1 and KG2 students had a dental checkup where doctors from Thambay Group came to check and gave us a report on every child. We celebrated World Smile Day on 28th of September. 
Students made some lovely flowers with smiley face and took it home. They also shared what brings a smile on their face and how they make others smile. It was fun to listen to children and few said their baby at home brings a smile on their face. At Ambassador, learning is always fun, filled with a lot of activities and events. A lot of events are planned regularly and we also focus a lot on academics. Parents, kindly ensure that you help children every day to revise what they have learned in school and also to continue the similar activities at home. Please encourage your children to also participate in different events. Next week, we have National Heroes Day for Pre-KG, KG1 and KG2 students and we look forward to a wonderful dress-up day once again. So thank you parents for listening to me. Have a wonderful week ahead.